What's up guys, FXP here doing another update. Um, I split this into two parts, so it's going to be part one, part two is going to be next week probably, which is going to include my CDs and the rest of my vinyl, so let's get into it. First up, I got some cassettes, uh, I'm sorry if you hear some noise in the background. Um, Crush Groove, soundtrack, I'm not going to talk about this too much, but a bunch of random tracks on here. Not my favorite soundtrack, but the movie's pretty dope. Um, next up, we got a release from my home state of Connecticut. Well, not my home state, but where I'm living right now, Connecticut. I'll call it my home for right now. Um, it's D-Law and the Bounty Hunters with Touch Bottom. Kind of an EP album thing. I guess it's considered an album. Six tracks on here. Um, Red set. Really, really dope. Early 90s Connecticut hip-hop. Um, like early to mid 90s, I guess. It came out in 94, I believe, so really great stuff though. I believe you can only get it on cassette and maybe um, a single but I don't think the whole album is actually out on CD or anything. It might be but I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, next up found a copy of Master Aces uh, sitting on chrome. Uh, not too much to say about this. Obviously you guys should know this album. Classic album. So pretty dope. Found that for like 50 cents at the uh, good, well, not good, well, Savers. And then found another copy of Tone Loke, Loked After Dark. Uh, Arrested Development, three years, five, five months, and two days. Or, yep, in the life of. Sorry, I got there. I got there on for a second. Um, yep. This, one, this is the one that's got Tennessee on it. And what else is on here? Mr. Wendell. Great tracks right there. Pretty cool. And that same found, uh, same uh, dig, I also found this. I was never sure how to say this. Zingalama Dumi? Dumi? There you go. That's as close as I'm going to get. Another Arrested Development joint. And final couple tapes here I got from my boy over at Lost Records. Check them out at, uh, I'll leave the link below. I believe it's lostrecords.com, but I'll leave the link below in the description. Definitely go check them out. Bunch of dope stuff. Uh, cassettes, vinyl. He's doing some great stuff with our reissues lately. First up, we got Formulating Fathers with Sleepless Nights. And this really nice purple colored cassette. Um, really, really, really dope stuff. It sounds like it's from the 90s, but it was actually recorded in 05. Um, there's a CD out there as well, but it came out in 05. It's a bit tougher to find, so um, you can get the cassette, though. Available over there. And we also have Burton Music, Custodian of Records. Um, this is basically a, I guess kind of like a compilation, but not really because a few different artists on here. Um, you got Sean Love. Uh, who else is on here? Big Snuff, Open Campaign. <clears throat> um, Thurston Howell III is featured on here with Murdoch, let's see, eighth one, um, really great stuff, uh, red cassette tape on this one, pretty cool, but definitely check out the Formulating Father, I think, if I had to pick between these two, this one would be the standout, um, release, I believe he did send me one more thing, which I don't have, one second guys, sorry, should have pulled this out, but, Another great 90s release, Nodos, Ready to Detonate. This is also off Lost Records, 2013 release. Um, it's really, really great stuff. Nice sticker cover right there. They're always coming out with great stuff, so check them out. We got a Madness EP coming out right now. I definitely suggest that one as well. So, let's move on to the vinyl. Sorry, I'm wearing my hands high too. It was freezing in my house earlier. I uh, came home and turned the heat on and it was cold. So, uh, First up we got a flexi disc, K Def Lost Beats Volume 1. Uh, nice little orange flexi disc by Slice of Spice. Rich over at Slice of Spice, always doing it really nice over there, really nice releases. Um, I know they're coming out with the Remix DITC project, which involved Lord Finesse, he was putting that together. So, 
But this was just like a little bonus thing that we just sent over with uh, random releases, so pretty cool. I'm a huge K Death fan, I think I mentioned that before, so. Alright. This was a great, great piece which I got for pretty damn cheap considering. Lord Finesse Picture Disc um, in the shape of the spade. The Here I Come remix with the instrumental on the B side. Let me pull this out. So, guys, this is a 10 inch. There's another uh, spade, a spade shaped record, which is a 7 inch, I believe, for Soundwave. Soundwave tour, but you can only get this on tour. Well, I can get it online probably on Discogs, but I could have only gotten it um, on tour or they had like this 24 hour uh, sale where they sold it online with a bunch of other like really cool, uh, like random hard to get stuff. So, if you missed out on that, I guess you got to get it on Discogs, eBay, or get lucky like I didn't just find it somewhere for really damn good price. Um, yeah, this really cool, really cool piece to my collection. Love Lord Finesse, so glad to add that. Alright, next up, Baritone Tip Love, Young Ladies Drive Me Crazy. This is just a single from his album, um, Living Foul. Really cool, this is the promo copy. Um, not sure if you guys can see that, but promo copy, so. I know I've talked about Baritone Tip Love, aka Feel the Most Chill before, so. This is, I'm really happy to have this. This is, I guess you can call it Grail for me. Living Foul, the album that that single came off of. Um, with custom artwork done by Phil the Most Chill himself and custom labels um, signed by him, so really, really dope. Um, I was looking for this forever. There's a cassette version as well, but uh, I wanted it on vinyl and glad I found it. It was a bit pricey, but I had some eBay cash, so whatever it's called. So I spent, uh, yeah, spent a good chunk of that in this, in all of it, I guess. I had to pay some, but really, really dope. Love this album. Check it out if you haven't heard it. Uh, one of my favorite albums of all time. This is uh, a reissue from 07, I believe. There was no actual um, release at the time when it was released in the early 90s. There was no vinyl release. There was only a cassette release. So this was reissued in Japan. I believe it was 07. And uh, yeah, just really, really cool. Really stoked to have this. I'm looking for it for a while, like I said. So. Really happy. This is nice. Really happy to have that. Alright, next up we got some early, early stuff by the Black Poet. Back then he was just known as the Poet. This is Noel Rockwell, who was his DJ and the Poet, with, what was the name of this track? Taking You Out, which was a disc to KRS One, uh, promo copy. Close to promo right there. As you can see, pretty dope, pretty dope stuff for pretty Fadopa. Early poet stuff, check it out if you haven't heard it. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, my throat. My throat hurts, so I'm trying not to talk too much, but it's kind of impossible. Uh, next up, a group called The Dark Side, and with a single. Um, they never released an album, only a couple singles, three. I do have them all in this update, so I'll be showing them. The tracks are What, and the A side, the B side is Pretender, which I recommend checking out the track Pretender. If you uh, aren't familiar with it, some really nice hip hop from the 90s, later 90s. This came out in 98, I believe. Yep, 98. This one. Next up, another release also by The Dark Side. This is A Queen's Thing, All About the Cash. And it's also got a remix on the B side. I love this label, Kick Ass Records. You guys can see that really uh, pretty cool label right there. And their third release is the white label promo of All About the Cash. This is the non remix version, the regular version. Um, got some DJ, came from a DJ, DJ Hollywood, I guess. So, Hollywood, there you go. Really dope stuff. Go check out The Dark Side. Nice 90s hip hop. I know I've talked about this dude before, Face. Picked up another record by him. Yes, yes, y'all. And the B side is Hip Hop to the Limit. Really nice hip hop out of uh, New York City. 90s stuff. What year did this come out? The 
Kitty on here? No year. I know it came out in the 90s though, so. Just learned nice New York Kitty Hip, New York Kitty. New York City Hip Hop, sorry about that. We're talking a lot today. Face, P-H-A-C-E. Check it out. After that, we got uh, some older chopped herring releases. Well, older, I say, from last year, and I believe one from this year. First up, we got First in Command with Pest Control EP. Uh, I guess I'll take it out and show the colors. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of chopped herring, so most of the stuff they put out is really, really quality, really nice hip hop. Usually really nice pressings, uh, no issues. I think this is supposed to be like a yellow and something. Turned out green, so yellow and brown or something, I'm not sure. Turned out green, but really nice. Uh, pretty dope hip hop. Never really have any complaints with uh, these guys and their packaging, so. Next up we got Epidemic with the Monochrome Skies EP. So color on this one as well. Really nice kind of blue, I believe it's called blue and silver, or blue and pearl, something like that. Um, there's a sticker cover as usual, as Chop Herring does. Epidemic, monochrome skies. Nice blue there. As you can see that. Yeah, I really uh, definitely recommend checking out Epidemic and any of their work, really. Um, I wish that this whole album was put out on vinyl, but we only got like a little EP, unfortunately, but which I can understand it's probably a lot pricier to put out stuff on vinyl than on CD, so that's understandable. Sorry about that. Just get this back in here real quick. And we move on. Alright. Next up we got some Connecticut hip hop actually. Um, from my area too. It's called New England Hip Hop Massive. Um, nice little EP, four tracks. Um, you got so New England New England Hip Hop Massive is a crew, Holocaust Frost, Subversive Element, and Adrenaline. Basically from uh, the next town over from me. A couple of these tracks were recorded. Um, this was on a nice like orangey uh, black. I guess we can take it out too. Might as well. Since I took out those. The white sticker that you saw isn't on the um, vinyl or on the sleeve. It's on the outer plastic sleeve. So only one I had to put it in. It's really nice dark orange on this uh, on this one. Really love that color. Let me turn the light on. Actually, it's probably kind of dark. Or not. Okay, I guess we'll turn the light on. <laughs> the bulbs probably went, but yeah. Nice orange. Uh, New England Hip Hop Massive. Definitely check it out. Local hip hop for me. They did a really, really nice uh, Connecticut hip hop for this month as well, which I'm still waiting on, obviously, like I mentioned. But um, yeah, they're really doing it big over there at Chop Herring, putting out all sorts of great stuff. So. They do put out a bit of uh, newer stuff, mostly though, reissues and 90s stuff, if you're not familiar. And lastly here, we got the Bounty Hunters, Who the Fuck's in Charge EP from 94. Yep, Who the Fuck's in Charge from 94. On this nice bluish color, I don't know if you guys can see that through there. I might not take it out, because this one's a pain in the ass to close. I fucked up the seal, so I gotta get a new sleeve, but... Bounty Hunters, Who the Fuck's in Charge. Um, they have another EP which is, uh, the original is really, really hard to get. It's probably, like, probably upwards of five, six, seven hundred dollars. I've seen it go up towards a grand, even, so. But I know they have other stuff on Chopped Herring, too, which you can get. Uh, next up, one of my favorite releases from late, late last year, Emski and E the Fifth with the Mark Smith LP. Just really nice, uh, New York City hip-hop. Really great. Bunch of features on here. Jesus Mason, Ben Ulla, uh, The Saint. If you don't know The Saint and Emski are also known as the group The Good People. So, this is just on black vinyl, I believe. Yep. Black vinyl put out under uh, Emski's own label, I believe, with. Nope, Diggers with Gratitude. Yep, put out on 
figures with gratitude and also recoordination. So you show the label there and it's not upside down. There you go. M Ski, definitely check this album out if you can. Um, I will be doing a review of it shortly. I know I don't usually do reviews, but this is going to be different kind of review. So plus I love this album so much that I wanted to talk to uh, talk about it. He's got some other work too. Out also on Diggers with Gratitude, mostly EPs. But check this dude out. Really, really dope lyricist. Just a cool guy to have talked to him a few times. So really cool dude. Um, we got some early Jay Dilla stuff. First down, a day with the homies. White label promo. Uh, first down is Jay Dilla, JD, and Fat Cat. This is from '95 or '96, something like that. Just a white label promo there. Really cool though. I just didn't have this in my collection. I've been looking for it, so nice find for $3.99, so. Getting down to the last couple here for this one. We got um, some more New York City hip hop. This is the QSR Cartel on the A side, um, or the Quasar Cartel as they're also known as, leaving the club. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the B, that's the B side. Yep, the B side is QSR Cartel Stand Up. And the B side, wait, yeah, I don't know why their sides are messed up. They're both A. <laughs> okay, so. One side is QS, QSR Cartel with Stand Up. The other side is Master Prince of QSR Cartel with Leaving the Club. Sorry about that. Labels are a bit weird on here, and I see why. But um, It wasn't great, to be honest with you, as much problems I had saying the name. <laughs> um, it wasn't that great. It was all right. It was okay. We were late 90s hip-hop, but nothing fantastic. Next up, uh, some random stuff I've never heard of out of California. Composers of Poetry, or COP. COP lyrics flow constantly is the name of the track. Same track on both sides, just a club mix and a radio mix. Um, it was alright, like I said, nothing to go crazy over. Um, with a name like Composers of Poetry, you'd think it'd be really dope, but a bit of a letdown, unfortunately. So. And this was a really nice find, too. Um, this is Tags of the Times compilation out of Japan. Uh, three volumes of this, this being the first. A uh, bunch of nice, nice hip hop on here. Really dope artists. You got Yeshua the Poet um, with Sia, No Dope, No Souls, Dope is Opus. You got Natural Resource, Polyrhythm Addicts, Safir. You got a track featuring Company Flow, Mers. Shing O2 and Yeshua the Poet, A Day Like No Other, uh, Remix, Dead Bent by MF Doom, Indelible MCs featuring Company Flow, Juggernauts and J, Pre J Treads, I was going to say J Prez, Shing O2 and Murs, Blank Paper, that track's pretty known, MF Grimm, Power Rule, IQ, Natural Elements, Frankenstein, Really nice stuff on here. Um, you got a track with Eggman featuring Mr. Voodoo, Criminal from the Jigmasters, and Have I Scream. And the last track is the Jigmasters, Is You D. Really, really dope comp on Mary Joy Recordings. Um, I definitely recommend checking it out because I can just show the labels real quick. Oh, my voice is going. Here, my throat hurts like crazy, too. Really pretty cool uh, labels on here on the A side. They're all pretty much like that, just different colors. And then the track listing on the B side there. Once again, it's called Tags of the Times. I'm not sure if it's on CD as well. I know it's they are, they're all the volumes are on vinyl um, out of Japan, so it might be a bit um, pricey if you can't find it here to get it imported, but it's definitely worth it. And it does come with an insert, which I just noticed. I did not see that before. And what do you know? It's all in Japanese. Which is pretty cool, actually. No, it's not all in Japanese. There are Japanese and English lyrics on here, so... Uh, let me see if I can find a really, really, really small writing, but... English. Japanese. Yep, just a lyric sheet. Pretty cool, though. 
of the artwork on here too. Really dope artwork. So that's it for this update. Um, I know it's kind of bad, but sorry, my throat hurts. I really don't want to talk too more, too much more. Um, I'll be back next week sometime with my next update um, which is going to have some CDs I picked up recently because I haven't picked up any CDs in a while including Step Brothers and some other stuff so and the rest of my vinyl so um, I will see you guys soon thank you very much for watching go check out um, me and Alex the other ground vaults uh, top 10 disappointing albums that we did and we also did um, top 10 MC duos recently so We'll be doing those every once in a while, so um, different lists and stuff. If you guys have any suggestions for that, leave it in either description of this video or, you know, those videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.